Hi folks, welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. Now, last time we had finished building all of the bits that we needed and we were about to build a little mining ship or something like that. I think we will build a mining ship because we need to mine buckets of resources so we can actually build a solar farm and start to get our base properly set up. Also, I want to go to another asteroid to that asteroid or one of these smaller ones at some point as well so we'll need to start thinking about that oh that one looks rather nice that's a lot of iron on there but anyway we need to dismantle our starting ship because although it's good it's a bit big it's a bit lumbery it's not great for what we want so i'll get to dismantling that and i'll be back in a minute okay we're just over halfway through. Now just to finish the rest of it off, uh, I will be building that med bay. I will be taking that and putting it on that platform. I might expand the platform more that way. So I will finish this off, get back to you in a minute. Okay, this has actually started to float away so I need to get this done as quick as possible. Uh, more haste, less speed, eh? Right, back in a minute. This is just the last few blocks now, so it shouldn't take too long to do. God, that flight seat takes a while though. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Last two. Nearly done. And that, I do believe, is pretty much that. Yep, that looks like all of it. Now, I'm going to stick all this in that cargo container. But we need a mining ship. That's our primary thing to get. So I'll build a small one, get it laid out, and then I will get back to you. Well, that seems to be a good layout for one. I've got drills at the front, conveyors running to a cargo container, and then a connector on the back. I'm going to need to build a connector for the refinery as well, but I can build that after I've finished this. I'll finish this, and then I'll get back to you. We're probably about 90% of the way. It just needs the last little components put in it before it will be fully complete. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll show it off to you when it's done. And we're now just adding the last little bits, all the displays and the computers which are needed, and I'll fill it up with some uranium, we should be on our way. It's done. It's very bright, I don't like having that right in your face, that would be bright welding torch. Uh, what else needs computers? Is that it? That can't be it. I don't believe it. Apart from the reactors, I think that's pretty much it. I'm trying to be really careful not to bump the ship so it doesn't float off and get destroyed. I'll have to start over again. Because until it has power, it could go anywhere if I bump into it too heavily. You may think it looks like a bad design, or a, a, if not bad, a poor design. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to look pretty. It's survival. It has to be effective at what it needs to do, which is mine. So, that is our little mining ship. I'm going to go pull out the uranium from the reactor. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We've forgotten two important things on this ship. A spotlight, an ore detector, three important things, and an antenna so we don't lose it. That'd be terrible if we lost it. I'll stick this stuff on and then I'll get back to you. Ta-da! One working ship. Let's hop in it and try and find some uranium. Where does it go? So we've got our left, we've got our right, we've got our up, and we've got our down. Forward and backwards. Let's map these drills. Drills. Toggle block on and off. There we go. Oh, it's wobbly as hell. Well, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Let's bomb around in the asteroid for a bit. We're looking for uranium and I can't remember, I'm sure we found some. I we'll have to get out every now and again to look for some. Turn the light on so we don't smash into anything. Let's hop out and have a look. I genuinely can't remember where there was any uranium. Because that's our primary need at the moment, is some uranium. Didn't we drill through something to get some? Where's our big iron hole? Was it through here? Was that silicon? No, it's the uranium. We'll have to just get it manually, I think. Come on, get through. Oh, we left some behind. Oh, nice. I'm not going to spend all my time drilling through all that nickel to, just to get this tiny bit of uranium. I'd rather mine it by hand 
refine it into some more uranium ingots and be able to power both the station and the ship. What the hell's this? Oh, we've got some magnesium out of it as well. Nice. That should be enough for now, I think. Bucket loads. Okay, we will... Ooh. Oh, there's loads in here. I think we'll head on back to the ship now. After collecting all this uranium and magnesium and a bit of iron. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now I need to find my way out. It's always the hardest part. Get back to you in a minute. So I've planned out the current route for at least one connector to go into the refinery. I'm not sure I've got enough bits to build it though. I'm going to give it a go and I'll get back to you. The refinery is currently busy refining uranium. Uh, I've got so much I need to stick in the ship. But I'll get back to you in a minute about this connector and conveyor system. And that is pretty much it for the connector stuff. Except for I need a bit more glass. I'll get back to you in a minute. And there you have it, folks. One mining ship connected to a refinery. That's it for this episode. There will be another one up soon. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later.